hi friends hope you are doing well so today I'm going to reply to a question how to find an industry postdoc job and essentially I made a video previously about the possibility of getting postdocs in companies and some viewers asked the question how do we find some of these jobs now one of the best ways to find these jobs is to actually search in Google so I will give you a specific list of keywords which you can try because essentially these jobs come across with different keywords so let's start with this list so the number one is PhD job then postdoc jobs student researcher PhD research scientist postdoc fellow postdoc researcher postdoctoral researcher research engineer masters PhD residency so if you go through these keywords and put them in Google and check out the jobs in your area so essentially you have to put this keyword like postdoc fellow and then put jobs after it so then only it will lead you to jobs or it's going to give you a list of all kind of things about postdoc fellow in general so you are going to find a large number of jobs here now if you are not satisfied with this you can go further to some of the major job sites so there is indeed.com there is monster.com there is zip recruiter.com there is higheredjobs.com so you can try these websites also and see if you can find any jobs here now this is the direct way of getting jobs so let's look at the number two and this is what i've heard from several people who have got such jobs as to what happened to them so essentially these guys applied to a permanent position at a company typically a pharmaceutical company or a biotech company and in some cases even a silicon valley fang type of company and the people were impressed with their resume but they essentially told them why don't you come for a postdoc because we have some complex problem we are looking into we don't have a long-term funding there for it yet but we can support you for a period of one year or two years so essentially this is one of the ways you can go about getting this company postdoc is try to go for a permanent job and you may get a call from these people who may actually give you a more temporary position which may be a postdoc now they often don't call it a postdoc they may call it some kind of research associate or research scientist position and they may give this to you now the third approach which i have seen many people do is that they apply to some places like nasa or any of the national labs now most of the national labs will say that they only want people with u.s citizenship because they have a lot of constraints as far as the recruitment is concerned remember these are national labs and i'm talking about the u.s here so essentially what happens in some cases is that if they see a resume which is very good and maybe you are somebody who is a foreign student they may actually still hire you and they may hire you through a contractor so if you go to any of these national labs you will find that a lot of the work there is done by people recruited through some small companies which are known as the contractors so there are a large number of nasa contractors and so on and essentially if the guys at nasa or any national lab really want you they can get you through this contractor so this is also like a postdoc very often you will get a title such as a research associate a research scientist or something like that so that's the third approach now the fourth approach is to find out from your supervisor and other professors you know as to who are the PhDs out there in the industry and there are often PhDs who have graduated from your lab and have gone on and are working in the industry now in many cases you may approach them for a permanent position there but in some cases they may have a system where they essentially check out people through the postdoc so just like in many fields there is an internship and people have to do a three month summer intern and if the company likes them they essentially hire them in the coming semester similarly for the phd type of people this postdoc can be a gateway to your recruitment so essentially you do this postdoc for one year if the people find that you are gelling well with them you are a good fit and so on then they essentially give you a, the job now why do they do this is because in many cases the 
problem which happens in most companies is that the people are not a good fit that sometime a person may be a very good scientist a very good researcher and they may look very good on their cv and on paper but when they actually join the company they may show some particular personality traits which are not very useful for the corporate mode so essentially they may be lone ranger researchers and then that is certainly a problem if you are working in a company you need to be a team player so essentially they use this one year to check these things out they may even groom you in that direction they may put you with team and they may remove some of that phd baggage which comes as far as research on your own is concerned so this is often the problem with phd is that they are trained to do research on their own it is independent research and they remain on this path so this can sometimes become a problem for them as far as the industry is concerned so these are some four basic thoughts about how to land a job in the company for a postdoc position and in many cases you may be actually recruited into the company or even into the national lab after a few years if you change your visa status and get a green card or us citizenship so that was my take today on how to find a company postdoc job and i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then